Hi guys, welcome to Nordic Angles Fly Tying. Today we're gonna tie a nymph version of the Danny Cat. And this is a really important pattern to have in your box if you're fishing dry flies and nymph fishing because this is by far the longest stage and the longest stretch of its life is, is as a nymph at the bottom. This is what it's do doing for the first like one to three years before it's uh, it's ready to, to hatch up at the surface and, and become a dun and and flag around and, and, and mate. So a really simple pattern but a very effective pattern in the, in the early season. So um, we're gonna fly, tie here. <laughs> so here we're gonna tie the Danica Nymph. So let's tie this Danny Kingdom. The first thing I'm gonna use here is a hook. And this is the Eric Setch hook or the FW531 in a size 8, barbless. And I'm gonna do with a white fret. Just start by coating your hook. A little bit of red. So I'll see approximately like two to three, four millimeters behind this um, this hook point. And I'm gonna put in my tail here, and this is gonna be made out of pheasant fiber, pheasant tail fibers. It's a very classic fly tying material. A lot of people have it at home. It's a great material for wing casings, tails, you name it. I'm just going to take something like 10 to 12 fibers here. I'm just going to make sure that they are approximately the same length. And I'm going to do like half the length of my hook shank here. Tie that down. Like so. And then I'm gonna take a rip here, and I'm just gonna use some thick black thread. This is a, a Vibus 100D in black. I'm just gonna take 30 centimeters of it here and just gonna double it around my thread, like so. I'm just gonna lock it up here in the back of the fly. And I'm actually gonna take this tail, now I actually forgot, I'm just gonna mangle it a little bit here to make it seem a little more natural. Like that. So now I'm gonna take some dubbing and I'm just gonna use some, I think this is squirrel, or hair's mask, or whatever you have at hand. Natural dubbings with a short natural fiber is great for these kind of flies. So I'm just gonna dub my first portion of my body here and something not too much dubbing like that it's a little bit more I think Like so, I'm just gonna take my rip here, do something like five to six turns up here, like that, tie that off. So now we completed the abdomen here, so now we're gonna start up the forex. And for the wing case here, I'm just gonna use the same pheasant fibers as before. Something like 10 to 12 strands here. Just cut it off. I'm gonna tie it in at the heavy duty, not the points. 
And this is really critical to make sure that you put this exactly on top. Like so. A couple loose wraps and then just tie it down here. Fairly strong material this. There we go. And then we're gonna tie in some legs. And we're just gonna use a 4B cape, a hand cape, and use one of these little smaller fibers down here. This is just a natural brown. It's a really nice one. You can use Brahma, you can use hen, you can use whatever you have at hand. Just as long as it's a, a smaller feather with a little bit more of a bulky profile, I think works best for these kind of flies. And then I'm going to determine the length of my forex here by just opening up these feathers and measuring up. It's a little long. Taking off a little more. Something like that. I'm going to cut off the end here, making a little bit of a taper and a little bit of a point. And I'm just going to tie this in with the dull side towards myself. And again, exactly on top. There we go. And now we're gonna dub the forex. I'm gonna use exactly the same dubbing as I used for the abdomen. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this pearl flash, flashaboo, and this is just to mimic the um, the wings underneath the wing case. And it's not gonna be a lot, a lot. It's just gonna be a little bit of a hint of flash. Just gonna mix it up by hand here. Something like this. You see a little bit of flesh in there. And I'm just gonna dub this forex a little bit more heavily than I did with the uh, with the abdomen. Like so. And now I'm ready to tie in the legs. I'm just gonna fold this feather forward and brushing back the fibers again, putting it on top here and just brushing back these fibers and just catching them up here. Like so. This is a little bit loose, this feather. I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit like that. Cut off the excess here. The neater you can cut this, the easier it is to to tie afterwards. So, something like that. Just wet your fingers a little bit here and just pull these fibers down and squeeze. I'm ready for my forex here and just a wing case. I'm just gonna pull these feathers down with one hand, starting to grab this, just pulling these down. I'm just gonna fold this forward in between. It's a little hard to show you on video. You can see here how the legs is just gonna point out to each side on top, and the wing case is just gonna cover it. And I can put a little bit of tension on this wing case here, like that. You loose turns and then make sure it's really secure here and then I can just take my thread and put it underneath by the hook eye 
and now we can finish it off. And then with a really sharp pair of scissors here, I can just take this wing case and just cut it all the way down there. Like that. And the fret. As you can see now, I have these legs sticking out on either side. But nothing on the, on the abdomen. I'm just gonna finish off this one by just taking a little bit of varnish and putting it on the, on the wing case. It's not necessary, it's just for durability and just because it looks good. So there we go, Danny Kenimph, really really effective pattern, in, especially in the early season of this kind of fishing because these nymphs live for the bottom of the river for like two years before they hatch to fully emerged uh, adult individuals for, for mating. So this is by far the biggest stage of this fly. and. By far, this is the stage that the trout eats the most. It's really, really versatile and it can catch just about anything in the river that's feeding on nymphs. Um, great fly to have in your box and not a fly you should miss in your box by, by the Danica fishing. So, yeah, here it is. So, that was the Danica nymph. Uh, as you saw, a, a pretty easy pattern to, to, uh, to tie. Um, very few materials and and but some nice techniques. I really like the thing about the forex and the wing case up here. It really makes it stand out. A great great pattern to have in your box. And of course, you can find all the materials used in this video and this fly and all the tools I've been using on NordicAnglers.com. And there's a full set of of tying materials in the description as well. So um, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and bye bye.